In this video we will try to answer one of the most asked questions by space enthusiasts, so make yourself comfortable because this is interspace. Is our universe infinite? Sooner or later this question is certain to occur to many of you. Unfortunately, today's science is incapable of providing a definite answer to it, but it can claim with the assurance that there was a beginning of the universe. The world we know has been growing and developing throughout 13.8 billion years originating from the condition that came to be called the cosmic singularity, to research this process astronomers have to look back in the past. When we talk about the boundaries of the universe we imply only the limits seen to us, this visible area is called the meta-galaxy or the observable universe. The statement that there are boundaries to the universe is considered one of those great ideas which can dramatically change our world perception. Something similar took place back in 1543 when Nicholas Copernicus proved that the Earth wasn't located in the center of the cosmos. The following breakthrough took place in the 20th century when Edwin Hubble showed the world that galaxies moved away from each other. This prompted the idea that the universe hasn't existed eternally and was formed as a result of a certain event, the Big Bang, Today we are certain that the dimensions of the world we'll live in, are much larger than we are capable of imagining. The search for the answer to the question about its boundaries is going to lead to yet another scientific breakthrough. At the moment scientists can talk only of the boundaries within which the objects are visible, this area is also called the observable universe which is the absolute past to the observer. The cosmic horizon is the boundary of the observable universe the objects on the horizon become infinitely redshifted that is they constantly move further away. The number of galaxies within the observable universe is estimated at upwards of 500 billion with this number increasing on irregularly as the research equipment becomes more advanced, but how big is the observable area of the universe today? The distance to the remotest observable objects equals approximately 14 billion parsecs in all directions, thus the observable universe is a sphere with a diameter of about 93 billion light years, and with the center inside the solar system that is it is centered on the observer. The area equals 350 quin vision tillion cubic meters. It should be mentioned that the light emitted by the furthermost observable objects has been traveling for 13.8 billion light years before reaching us, however, the distance to those objects has significantly grown due to the never-ceasing expansion of the universe, this process is the result of there being matter and energy in space filling space-time. While there is matter in space there is gravitational force therefore the universe either shrinks affected by gravity or expands affected by dark matter it is also worth noting that there isn't a single center for the universe's expansion just like there isn't a space for the universe to expand into beyond its boundaries. This process takes place with the matter in space at any point everywhere and at all times. We do not physically perceive this as the force holding our atoms and molecules together, does not allow us to burst under the influence of space expansion, this may be compared to a baking loaf of bread with the raisins of four galaxies and similar formations and the dough for the space matter. According to estimates the distance to the furthermost observable objects today equals approximately 46 billion light years. The furthermost stellar system concerning the Earth is a galaxy dubbed GNZ Xi, its light has been traveling to us for about 13.4 billion years, meaning that this object was formed less than 400 million years after the Big Bang, however, Due to the constant expansion of the universe today's distance to GN is approximately 32 billion light years. One may argue that the speed with which it recedes, exceeds the speed of light, but it doesn't clash with a special theory of relativity as it isn't the matter that is receding but the space between the two objects is growing larger. This object is supposedly one of the very first galaxies and is likely to be the closest stellar cluster to the edge of the observable universe. If man were able to freely travel from one world to another it is in that galaxy that we might find out about the genesis of our world in more detail. What we call the modern galaxy is likely to have started to expand immediately after its birth, in theory, the boundaries of the matter galaxies may well reach the cosmic singularity that is it may show us what the world had been like before the Big Bang. Likely, the universe stretches infinitely beyond this barrier and it is there that its hypothetical boundaries are to be found but the objects beyond this barrier are referred to in several ways, multiverse objects, parallel universe objects to name, but to science, today is incapable of defining these bodies with any detail, however assuming that the universe carries on expanding we may conclude, that the objects we're able to observe now or sooner or later going to disappear from our field of vision. If the accelerating expansion of the universe continues indefinitely, the galaxies beyond our supercluster, are sooner or later, going to recede beyond the horizon, as a result, thus becoming invisible to us, 
any form of communication beyond the boundaries of the observable universe will be rendered impossible and any contact between the objects will be lost of the Earth, the solar system, the Milky Way and our supercluster, will be mutually observable whereas the rest of the universe will recede in the distance there may be hypothetical worlds beyond the regions observable to us, as they originate as a result of phase transitions of physical vacuum, alternatively, there may be objects forming out of irregularities of relic radiation located closest to the particle horizon. The question of multiverse objects remains a bone of contention among scientists prompting an overwhelming number of pseudoscientific guesses. Be it as it may most researchers see eye to eye as to the infinity of our universe, although they interpreted it in different ways, some of them claim our worlds to be multidimensional, which makes our three-dimensional universe merely one of its layers, while others are inclined to believe in the theory of a multi-universe with us as a minuscule fraction of an infinite multitude, whereas there may be a portal to other worlds beyond the observable area of the universe. Some space theories involve the existence of the sacred event horizon, according to this concept, we're never going to be able to look beyond the event horizon because the speed at which photons travel away from us will be higher than the speed with which the observable universe expands. According to this theory, all the galaxies surrounding us abound to recede beyond the event horizon it will look like time stopped in them. We will observe them infinitely receding beyond the observable boundaries but never quite disappearing from view. Be it as it may contemporary science cannot provide a definite answer to this question although the situation may change overnight once we have developed more advanced observation equipment. The universe might turn out to be a sort of sphere and traveling over it might remind one of traveling on the spherical surface of our Earth considering the scale it reaches, however, this prospect appears impossible to reach the edge of the observable universe, it would take man 46 billion years even if we travel at the speed of light, by the time we reached this designated point it would have moved the same distance away and a similar journey would have to be embarked upon. It is likely that there aren't any large objects beyond the observable universe and on peering there we would see just a homogeneous cloud of helium hydrogen and a few other elements. However, we might probably never be able to discover the origins of our world and might forever remain in the position of someone chasing the horizon. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up and let us know what you thought about how incredible is our universe in the comment box. This was Interspace, see you in the next video.